So while we're at it, we're also gonna change these uh, rear shock absorbers. Uh, I got these actually used, but they're like in amazing condition. Like they were literally brand new. Uh, so I'm gonna install that and I'll already check them. The way you check them, it's actually pretty simple. You just push down on them. And once you push down, when they go down, they have to come back up, which they do. So those are gonna go to the back. The old ones, these are original pretty bad also going to change the diff fluid while i'm underneath because i have to pull the fuel line that goes to the fuel pumps to make sure that you see see what's going on with that tank and all that so it's really important so i pulled this pre-filter for the uh distributor uh and there's some dirt in it just hoping it's nothing really clogged up that's inside of this we'll have to see but i'm really loving how everything looks right now it looks a lot cleaner it's so awesome i'm gonna keep going on cleaning this uh so yeah and definitely have to soak this up so i'm underneath right now just cleaning the drain plug and then also fill plug right there from all the garbage because i'll be pulling those and as you can see on the top there that's your vent for the differential definitely gotta clean that uh, you won't really be able to take it off it's hard so but just kind of use a pick and make sure those ports are unclogged there we go doesn't look too horrible changing that let it drain. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Two's the worst. Yeah, it's sat for a while. From Bosch, Germany. Nice. Cool. Well, now we gotta put some oil in those holes. I already covered this valve cover area. Now we're just gonna add some of that oil inside. Just gonna clean this funnel and add some of it. not very Let's see if it's even gonna go in yeah, yeah it will we'll get it that much that's nice yeah so we're gonna do the same to all four of them that way we're not gonna have any dry starts and all that cut this guy out it's super easy to change shocks in the back of this car so easy. Okay. Loosen up this right here. Oh yeah, it's definitely original. It's all cracked up. Wishing on the bottom is garbage. Mercedes star, hello. All right, let's pop the new one in. Oh, look at that. All right, so we've got a little bit of fluid film in there for preservation, like that. Actually, on the bottom of the spring, too, won't hurt. Preserve all this. Crazy, crazy like that. <laughs> All that. Yeah. She likes fluid film. <laughs> Feta cheese. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so we got some silicone paste. We're gonna add right here because our new rubber which is actually this guy it's gonna go right in there like so boom now we're gonna put rubber right here actually we're gonna put it on the whole entire thing so it can stay preserved and not crack prematurely so we're gonna do that oh then we're gonna put this guy right here on top
So we're gonna leave just one nut on there because these two, they, they're different threads, so they won't work with that one. But it's all tightened up. And, uh, good to go. Gotta do the other side now. Also, I tightened the bottom portion of the shock when the control arm is jacked up. That way, you don't uh, prematurely damage that bushing. So I usually put 75W140 full synthetic in these, but I think this one's gonna be just fine. I heard good things about it, so we're gonna use this guy to refill the diff fluid on this car. It's gonna be time to start refilling this thing. So we're gonna let's get that in there. I'll clean this plug too. Uh, if you could actually cut that thing too, so yeah, remove yeah, the. Nice. I got you. You're that good. Yeah, so we're gonna refill this bad boy. Actually, this flex, this it's original, but it doesn't seem too bad. I don't know if we're gonna change it or not. We're gonna inspect it closer. We're gonna change this exhaust mount for sure. Here shortly. It's to be changed. We're gonna get to these guys here in a little bit. Okay, look at that. And on 190s, usually easier to refill them because on W124s, the exhaust usually goes on this left side of the diff. But on this one's pretty simple. As a matter of fact, that oil that I usually use, the Doha 75W140, it has the flexible bag, which is super handy. I can put the drain plug in or fill plug. Mm -hmm. So I gotta show the people that it's full. it Got a fresh fluid in there German tight Na zdrowie Look at that just remove this plastic cover Let's admire this beauty right here and all the spider webs Look at that Hell yeah Hmm. Like a cotton candy. Hmm. I like that. Well, looks like somebody's been here probably because this is not original. This is a replacement pump. Uh, single unit. And we got the filter too. I can't tell if this is Bosch or this is man filter. I don't know. But this is going to get changed. So yeah. My main concern is like these fuel lines because they're pretty. Well, I'm going to remove this one here in a second to see. For the most part, it doesn't look too bad from the outside. Okay, so there's the fuel pump assembly and everything. The electrical portion is disconnected. Now I'm disconnecting these two lines. Feed line from the tank and this pressure line that goes to the engine compartment. It's literally 17 millimeter and 14 millimeter right here. And you just hold them together to loosen. Right, we took out the assembly and look there's actually fuel in there so we might get lucky that maybe it's not completely clogged or whatever or the tank so what well, we're gonna try we're gonna try we have some fuel we're gonna try to put fuel in it now and see if it actually drains down to this hose so we're gonna do that all right so we're gonna see very good Ready now? Yeah, ready. Benzine. Fresh benzine, let's see. Okay, here it's something. Go ahead. Okay. Pour. Huh. It's not really doing anything now. Uh, how much did you pour already? Uh, maybe a quarter of a gallon. 
Uh, I mean, it's squirted out a little at first, but now it's... Uh, try a little more. Yeah, she doesn't want to. Nope. She is not draining out. Nothing. Hmm. Yeah, you already put a lot in there. You should have. No. Maybe. No. You don't think it's. Oh, oh actually. That's all I got in there so far. Ah. It's pouring slow. Yeah. I don't want it to back Yeah, up. yeah, yeah. Right. Back up. Actually, no. It's dripping. Let's see. It's dripping now. I'll keep going a little bit. Actually, yeah. Let's keep going. It's whatever. It's dripping. I feel like yeah that filter may might need to actually come out and get cleaned in the tank. Hmm. So stop. Yeah, I would I would say stop, but I mean, you definitely put a gallon or something in there, yeah. But it's just, it should be flowing a lot, uh, flowing a lot more than just kind of drip like that. Well, we pulled the tank out. It was a pain to get to that uh, bottom part. It was not enough space. So now we can get to all of this. And we can now clean the tank probably, you know, power wash that thing. Look at all the kakashka in there. <laughs> there you go. We've got new o-ring for it coming too. Ah, it's actually not bad. I mean, it could be though clogged, I think. Seems like it is clogged, because it should be It should be a transparent, you should be able to see through. Yeah. That's got a lot of sediment on it. Yeah. Do you have a new one? I do not. Okay, well we can flush it. Yeah, we definitely need to flush the tank a little, you know? It's not too bad though. No. The tank is good. Thank God. Sweet. I mean, with what gas is in it, we can just shake it around and then Let me try, out. yeah. And I think it'll... Strong Jatska. <laughs> so you flush the tank. Whoa. Actually, yeah, I can tell you that it was kind of dirty in there. Oh, yeah. So we're going to do another round then, I guess. We can't more eat. fuel. Well, I'm gonna have to pour it through there, probably. Or actually, I mean, we could just definitely kind of dirty. So, we added more fuel to it. Now, we're gonna shake it off like that. <laughs> yep, it's actually a good method, you know, just putting gasoline in there, especially if not if the tank is not too bad from inside. Also, good workout for Uncle Dalton. Yeah. Drop. <laughs> <laughs> Catch. All right. Ready for the next one? Da. One, two, three. Kachow. Okay. Oh, that's way better. Oh yeah, that's way better. Oh yeah. What do you think? Third round? I think we're good. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Just clean this really quick. Boom. It's also new shock absorber on this side. Just gonna this off the fluid film a little bit. Good stuff. Well, we did a lot today, I would say. Cleaned up the engine bay here and there. 
new shocks in the rear, new diff fluid, and working on the tank and fuel system. I gotta clean this up still. We're gonna come back another day and keep working on it. And, uh, hopefully we'll soon get it running. Valve cover is all covered up. Everything is good. Yeah, spark plug holes we also covered. So everything is gonna be good.